In the past, Hyundai's Elantra has been a pleasant-looking sedan, getting people from point A to point B without any fuss or muss. The new model? <laughs> Three steps bolder. If there were ever a car that physically embodied Mattel's Hot Wheels logo, this would be it. Used to be the no-brainer choices in this category were Civic, Corolla, and Mazda 3. Then Ford and Chevy finally got on their A-game with Focus and Cruise, both of them great cars. That said, if you're looking at any of those and you're not cross-shopping Elantra, you're only cheating yourself. Consider this, my top-of-the-line limited tester doesn't need a key, keeps you from getting lost or backing into anything or anyone, makes your cell phone hands-free, connects to your tunes, warms nearly everyone's keister, and lets the sun in. All this retails for 23300 bucks, and yes, that includes destination. In professional auto writer's jargon, that's called a heck of a good deal. This 1.8-liter four-cylinder churns out 148 horsepower. It's smooth until the upper rev range. The automatic is a six-speed shift manually if you want. Zero to 60 happens in a competitive eight and a half seconds, not that you're gonna be drag racing your neighbors. The six-speed goes about its business without calling any attention to itself. Launcher's driving dynamic is a good blend of comfort and a touch of sport. It's kind of fun to tool around in. It's a little bit more road noise than I would like. It's not as quiet as class leader Chevy Cruze. Driving enthusiasts will want more feedback from the tires, some additional heft from the steering wheel, and less body roll in hard maneuvers, but Hyundai's done a great job of tuning Elantra for the mass market. Fuel economy is a big reason why people buy these cars. Elantra achieves the magical marketing number, an EPA rating of 40 highway, 29 city. Don't think it's possible in the real world? Well, with the cruise control set for 62 miles an hour, I got this average over 20 miles in the right lane, of course. At a more realistic speed of 75, it dropped to 36 mpg. Elantra's cabin is not a penalty box. Materials all look quite nice. This surface gets soft touch paint. The touchscreen interface is simple and intuitive, something premium brands don't always achieve. Small touches aren't ignored either. These feel better than some cars a class or two higher, and small cubbies are always welcome. A quick tap gives three blinks, encouraging lazy people to signal. Attention, drivers that sit close to the wheel, check this on your test drive. It may block your left side visibility. As far as the back seat goes, hello, howdy, my esteemed colleague, evil twin. I'm comfortable up here. How are you doing back there? Actually, quite comfortable. Foot and leg room, very generous. The big surprise back here, the seats are heated. Put the smaller person in the middle, the raised seat cuts down on headroom. Storage in the doors, yes. Power port, no. I haven't seen you in a while, you've been traveling? Yeah, you know, the usual evil places us doppelgangers go. Don't think I wanna know. Don't think I wanna tell you. Time for gripes. Want auto climate control or dual zone? Sorry, unavailable. Those looking for a premium audio experience will have to turn to the aftermarket. The volume knob is more stylish than grippy. Time for a TP trunk test smackdown. Corolla and Cruise hold six packs of this stuff. Civic, a lofty seven. Uh, turns out Elantra's boot is very spacious, matching Civic at seven. Watch out though, these hinge arms can pinch your cargo. Need more room? Elantra will oblige. Hyundai calls their design language fluidic sculpture. Elantra's swoopy shape is less liquid, more flame. To my eye, it's the best looking car the brand has ever done and one of the most compelling pieces of sheet metal I've seen all year, regardless of price. Yeah, I know, design is subjective, but spending an hour photographing this car was great fun. There are lots of places for the eye to linger. Elantra starts at $17,200 with a manual transmission. Add in Hyundai's 10-year warranty and a guaranteed trade-in value assurance, and this sedan is pretty tough competition. It could be argued that the value-priced Elantra is the most compelling car in its segment. I highly suggest a test drive. Do not expect to get a deep discount on Elantra. I stopped into a dealership while car shopping with my wife, and the only unit they had on hand was a demo. Basically, people are buying them before they hit the lot. The only problem Hyundai has these days is making enough of them.
In other markets, there's a hatch-like wagon version. At this writing, Hyundai isn't saying whether the North American market will get it. That's a good excuse for you to keep checking back, right? There you go. That's my take on the Hyundai Elantra Limited. Now, if you want to check out the competition, there are videos on the site with Cruise, Focus, and Civic. Have at it. It's just like a smorgasbord. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.